Look at the size of that hole. That's a woodpecker. I can stick my finger down that hole. The tape did nothing. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this is stressing out the bees. Lovely. Look at them. Like it, this did nothing at all. Maybe I need to put uh, duct tape, something that they can't, I mean, f Man. They, they didn't peck at it today, and maybe it's because I had a bird feeder up with suet in front of the house, and there are all kinds of uh, birds just flooding that feeder. Maybe that's enough to distract them away from my little beehive. Nevertheless, I'm going to plug in those holes with some of this stuff, and, and then I'm going to put probably that tarp duct tape that tarp around the whole damn thing, which is not what I want to do. I want to set it and forget it beehive for the winter, and this is not becoming it if I have to uh, do this kind of crap all the time in the winter. Not what I signed up for. So I don't think these, this scare tape did anything, but I didn't see any extra uh, holes poked into the hive today, so maybe the uh, putting up the suet feeder, and well, it was a feeder with some suet and uh, mostly uh, sunflower seeds. Uh, the first time I set up the, the bird feeder was right there, so maybe it was just too close. And this friggin' owl did nothing. And uh, yeah, anyway, hopefully this will do the job, but uh, <clears throat> I might even put some more tape down here. I can see that, it's gonna blow apart probably. And now I've got this thing, probably, you know, in the wind, it's going to make noise that could bother the bees. So, we'll just see. But, uh, yeah, not a big fan of the, having to do this. It's like, it's every other year, no matter what you do in beekeeping, <clears throat> no matter how innovative and creative you get, there's always some stupid thing like this that pops up. Oh, no. Now I've got a polyhive that just does everything I wanted it to do, but it gets pecked to pieces by woodpeckers and little chickadees. Like, come on. What else is, what, what's the next thing gonna happen? Anyway. The only thing that I, the only question I have about this uh, polyhive, these bees, they're clustering up top now, and to get out, they gotta go all the way down that hive and out to get a cleansing flight. And that's a long distance. That's a lot of distance to uh, break cluster. And even if it's warm-ish and they feel like breaking cluster, they, they don't, sometimes they can get down to the bottom of that hive, find it's cool, and not have enough strength to get back up to the top of the hive. Whereas uh, if they had immediate access to uh, a top entrance, they get out to that top entrance, go out, to, go, out, go out where the entrance is and feel the breeze and go up, oh, you know what, too cold and go back in. But by the time they get down to the bottom, it's just like, too late, you're, you're frozen. So this is my poly hive that's been pecked to pieces. Lots of pieces over here. That's all filled in now. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, look at that. I thought I filled in that hole. I guess I didn't. What a pain, like that's right in, that hole goes right through into the hive.